Hello, everybody. Welcome to James Eyes on Hong Kong 2018. I am the host, James Long White Man, and today we have an interview with Professor Dai. So, um, Paul, a establishment camp supporter, will think that you are more rich than before. Mm. Because uh, Occupy Central and uh, the project in the elections, there should some people give you money. <laughs> well, I think I can make it very clear, put it very straight. <laughs> um, we did not receive uh, money from um, anyone outside of Hong Kong. Mm. And yes, there's a lot of, uh, we need a lot of resources in all the campaigns, but they were all donations from Hong Kong people. Actually, not big amount of donations, it's very small amount uh, gathered together by many people. And also because we relied a lot also on the voluntary work of our supporters. Mm. Like for example, the Fundable Project, um, that we have a team of uh, uh, IT people. Mm. They design the system, they operate the system, and some people say that it may cost uh, uh, a few millions at least uh, to run that kind of system. If the IT people ask they, you for the salary. Yes, right, true. <laughs> but they do it, uh, they did it all voluntarily, and even they themselves donate some money to support uh. the old system. And uh, personally, actually, my income is reduced after I participate oh. in the movement. and. Um, uh, at least the the the, uh, um, the training that I mentioned that I provided for the government stopped it. That that's a, a source of income to me, right. and um, so actually I earn less than before, <laughs> not more. And even and also actually I have used a lot of my out of my own pocket. I have to pay a lot of things for my participation in the government. For example, paying all the uh, fees for the car park. Uh -huh. uh, and I travel around, uh, be in Hong Kong, visit people, talk to people. So I park my car at the car parks, and actually they're very expensive, the car parks. And so actually I, I, I've uh, earned less <laughs> than before, <laughs> not earned more. And I'm likely that I may lose my job even uh, if I got convicted in the, in the coming uh, prosecution and the coming case against me concerning the, the things we have done during the Occupy period. So, um, so that's my response. Mm. So what is your case going on now? Now, um, together with six other people, the Occupy Trio, uh, me, uh, Professor Jackie Man, and Reverend Chu, the, the nine of us, um, the case, uh, the, the hearing of the case will, will start on the 19th November this year. And we receive three charges, conspiracy to cause public nuisance, incite other people to cause public nuisance and incite other people to incite others to cause public nuisance. Mm. Now, um, some people are more pessimistic and think that uh, we might be convicted and uh, the, the penalty might be uh, a year or two years mm. of imprisonment. But some might be more optimistic saying that, okay, you may even get acquitted. Now, I cannot be sure who is right. Mm. and. So I just uh, leave it to the court. I believe that our court is still independent and fair. And so we just uh, leave it for the court to decide. Um, but I still have to prepare for the worst. As yeah. I mentioned that uh, in case I got convicted, I may lose my job. Mm -hmm. So I have to also prepare for, for that. And, uh, but that's also some, some kind of a cost we have to pay. And uh, I mean, not just money, but your time or even your life that uh, because we believe in the this uh, goal of democracy or this dream of democracy of Hong Kong people and um, and we need to have some people to do some sacrifice mm -hmm. and I think we at least I'm willing to do something.